Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's our first 2025 BMW M5 G90 in carbon black metallic. All right, so this is the 2025 BMW M5 G90 body style in carbon black metallic. I'm gonna hit unlock. So we do have the welcome light animation. So that was Vivace. There's four choices to choose from. Original, Allegro, Vivace, and Adagio. We got the iconic light-up grill. And guess what? This is our first video we're shooting in our new M showroom here at BMW Durham. Look how amazing this space looks, dedicated to the M cars. I'm going to do a lap all the way around the car, and we'll be sure to go around and take a look at all the interesting details of this new M car. It is an absolute weapon. And this car literally just got in here minutes ago. So I had to take the opportunity to share it with you. So let's go look at all the details. All right, so this is carbon black metallic. And I'm just looking at the hood. So since we got the new M showroom, we got these new fancy lights here. So you can kind of see the blue coming through. And you can see that we've got a line coming down the A pillar across here. And then we've got four lines coming down lengthwise down the hood. There's the rondelle. The hood is also sculpted around the kidney grill. And uh, overall, I think when we turn on this kidney grill, you can see it lighting up. There's that welcome light animation. This is a new grill for the M5 with the M5 badging here with the silver lining. Lots of space. So all those companies like Stradale Design and whatnot, I'm sure they're gonna be making all kinds of mesh protection for all of this stuff. And I'm just gonna actually go ahead and put on the pathway lighting so you can see what the full low beam system looks like. So that looks awesome. We've got the four headlight front design, which is very iconic for BMW. And also just look at how aggressively designed this front bumper is. Lots of air intakes. You could fit a 2.4 back here, I think. <laughs> Maybe a six pack actually, not a 2.4. More air here for aerodynamics, brake cooling and whatnot. But man, this front end just looks so aggressive and mean. I love it. And with the welcome lights, now, since we're here, let's take a closer look at the headlights. So just like the 5 Series, they are raked down a little bit for a bit more of an aggressive look. These are the shadow line headlights, so we've got everything blacked out inside of the housing in there. Looks awesome. Oh, look at this car. Now here, we have the new wheels for the M5. So we have uh, 20 inch front, 21 inch rear. And these are the double spoke 951 M wheels in midnight gray burnish with that massive M compound brake. Looks like a six piston. And I'm just gonna walk over here to show you the rear. So these are the 21 inch. So 20 inch front, 21 inch rear. Look how concave that wheel is. That wheel looks awesome. And not to mention, look at that rear quarter. Now, since we're actually on the driver's side of the vehicle, I wanted to show you that we've got the charge port door over here. So this is pretty well the same uh, drivetrain as we have in that vehicle over there, the X, uh, XM. So this is a uh, plug-in hybrid. So you'll see here we've got a light so we can see. And then once we plug in, it's only level one or level two. You'll see the lights change color to indicate what's happening here. There's a little legend here. And we have black M wing mirrors. This one has the optional glass roof. There's also a carbon fiber roof option. We also have the new style antenna up here as well. And just have a look at this side profile of the new M5, my goodness. And even the rocker panel looks awesome. There's also here, welcome light carpet. So. I don't know if we'll get a chance to see it in this video or not, but there is a new welcome light carpet for the M5 as well. We've got a body line starting from the fender going all the way across above the door handles. 
Hoffmeister kink has nice M5 on it. That looks awesome. We have the integrated flush door handles, comfort access on the front, and we have a spoiler on the trunk lid. And just to have a look at the fender. I'm going to take a little bit of time to focus on, look how wide these fenders look. That just looks awesome. I love the rear as well. I'm glad that they made it this fat. Now when we come all the way to the back, let's take a look at, I'm just gonna walk back a second. We'll put on the uh, tail lights. So there it is, tail lights on. So we have the double L and it's uh, black in the center here, not chrome. So that looks pretty awesome. I love the M5 badging on the back. It's so pronounced with that silver lining. And down here, so we've got the vertical reflectors on each side just to even widen out those hips further. Quad exhaust, and you'll notice they're staggered a little bit in position. And look at the massive diffuser on the back, how aggressive that looks. And we've got a little light down here so you can see when you're backing up. There's your rear view camera. And just to show you a little bit of underneath, it's all flat down there for aero. That is awesome. So since we're back here, I'm just gonna kick my foot underneath the middle of the car. We'll get that to open up. So inside, we have a grocery bag hanger on each side. This goes into a path, so this won't crush anything. We also have your level one, level two flex charger here, which is perfect. So that plugs into a 240 volt with a 50 amp headroom, carpeted floor mats, eSIM, little thing here for a tire inflator kit, a wheel lock key tow hook. And we also have here your front plate bracket, which I hope never sees the front of the car. And then this side, we've got the access to fuse panel. So I'm just gonna put that back in nicely for the next person. We've got some release levers on either side to fold down the seats in a 60-40 split. Uh, other markets may have some safety stuff clipped underneath here, not in the Canadian market. And we have a button to close, another one to close and lock, but we can certainly kick our foot underneath the middle of the car to have this close the hands-free way. So just look how awesome this looks right here. Now when we come around to the passenger side of the car, You'll see that we have the fuel cap door over here, which is connected to the central locking system. Oh no, this is a hybrid. So you're gonna find in the driver door, there should be a fuel release somewhere. Aha, something I've gotta learn about this car. All right, after some research, I found it. There's a little button here that looks like a gas tank uh, thing, and you can see the little handle thing is on the right side, so it is accurately placed. So it says preparing for refueling, refueling possible. So now we can go around to the passenger side of the car. You can press the nine o'clock position on the door. That opens. We're looking for 93 octane. BMW M recommends Shell V power. Counterclockwise, one click. There's a little spot here to put this, and there it is. So if your tank is full, it'll take a lot longer for this to happen because it's depressurizing the fuel tank, so you can safely open this without gases and such uh, coming out at you. And now when I close that, it's gonna lock again, so you will have to press that button. So I finally, after looking everywhere, it's right there beside the exterior lighting controls. So interesting. Now. We're just going to open up that back door and you can really see that carbon black color coming here. That looks awesome. So once I open up that door, so we have the two sunshades. Look at that awesome speaker vent here for your Bowers and Wilkins. We have your door handle, some stitching going across. There's ambient light in these areas here. That looks awesome. And of course, the speaker itself is an ambient light. When we look inside here, you'll see that we've got the M color seat belts. Nice stitching going across here. More Bowers and Wilkins up here. And uh, we also have the nice black Alcantara roof liner. We have your armrest here with cup holders. 
there's a little button up top here that you can press that puts down the center pass through and on the back of each seat it has M in there which is awesome we have a little spot here to open up for your accessory port with the USB type-c charging port there are your rear rubber mats more vents down here with some lights and there is your rear climate control system with heated seats in the two outer positions a little storage area your vents up top and up top we've got the glass roof so the sunshade just opens and closes we also have some microphones on the ceiling some lights and there's a handle on each side with a coat hanger wow very nicely appointed and I can also see we've got some vents in the back of the B pillar here as well very nice let's close this door and open up the front door next okay so let's approach from the passenger side here I'm just gonna open up this door so really hard to see any welcome light carpet here because it's so bright but in the front door panel Bowers and Wilkins that looks amazing interaction light bar that also looks amazing we've got your door handle some lights in here pockets big speakers M5 door sill which I think they didn't remove this little so there's a little piece of plastic here we got full power seat here so that's with lumbar and we have uh, this part looks like it's stationary yep that's what the M5 seats look like we also have illuminating M5 here on the headrest a little hole there as well and it looks like yep headrest adjustment is powered backwards forwards forwards backwards up down all that good stuff now in here we do have nice soft touch oh this is very soft and squishy line going up some uh, crisscross elements here interaction light bar we've got the vents to close or open there's the opening and this is how you direct where the air is blowing button down here to open the glove box it's illuminated in there a place to lock the glove box and here we have the M specific iDrive 8.5 more interaction light bar currently displaying the M colors little four-way flasher action in here as well and we've got max front to frost rear to frost shy tech vents down here your wireless charger on the left side with a little vent there to cool down your phone while it's charging we also have a storage space cup holders with USB type C charging ports and the cup holders illuminate love the iDrive controller in here look at that M is just in there that's awesome red push start button gear selector volume wheel and then we have some buttons here kind of like what we saw in the XM split armrest open that up should be a 12 volt plug in there perfect let's go open the door on the other side next okay so if we approach from the driver's side let me open up that door look what happens inside of here got the M lights going around the car like that like that is just awesome and then I went to Flamingo because that's what I had last <laughs> so inside of here we have more Bowers and Wilkins interaction light bar we have memory buttons that is the seating menu button we have lock unlock side mirror controls window controls child safety lock for your windows that's to put up and down the rear sunshade yep so that was that one right there tailgate open and key that's what the m5 key looks like if the key is inside the car you can pull and hold this and you can close the tailgate so the driver doesn't have to exit the vehicle and inside of here we have M5, we have full power seat once again. These seats look really good. Uh, and they're extremely bolstered. Look at this at the top here. Just look at that, that looks awesome. And we have 
the new flat bottom steering wheel with the red 12 o'clock marker. And look at these M1, M2 config buttons. They look very fat and I like that. They're chunky. And we have the paddle shifters, boost on the passenger, or sorry, boost on the downshift. And we've got lights and stuff in here. Let me just grab a seat, because these seats, oh! Gotta close the door. Man, seats are so comfortable. Head up display. And we've got iDrive 8.5 here. So I like how it's already M colors in here. Um, we do have the full automatic parking. So front park, back park, parallel park. There's the 3D view of our car in the new M showroom. The car also has the ability for the car wash view. And it appears as though we have some camera cleaning, so I think that's the uh, the rear. And you can also record a parking path and have it repeated again and again. And so if I click on M Hybrid, there's Dynamic Plus, Dynamic, Hybrid, Electric, and E-Control. So this car advertises about 40 kilometers, pure electric range. We can see right there, it's showing actually I have 49 right now, so that's good. And... Um, Let's just see. So we'll also have the augmented reality um, navigation because we have this new iDrive 8.5 system. Um, we also have for interior lighting. So we still have all the same 15 colors as we saw earlier. So just to give you a little sample here. Yeah, that all looks really cool. So if you like the M colors on in your M5, um, there is one of the ambient light colors that's called Indigo M. That's the one that you want, so you can get it to look like this. But uh, we're going to setup. So we have options for drivetrain, energy recover, recovery, drive logic. So they have shift harshness over here. And uh, Chassis, steering, brake, MX drive, M sound. So, yeah, M hybrid, probably want dynamic plus, sport plus, transmission S, drive logic, energy recovery. I'm going to say maybe min. And steering, sport, brake, sport, traction, MDM. So you can slide this. And let's just go to driving. Oh, it's a link to driving settings. Charging information is all here. So that is all really awesome. And up top, we do have also your three buttons here for your universal garage door opener. Up top, we have the interior camera, interior lighting menu, SOS button for roadside assistance. This is for that light. This is for this light. And of course, we have the sunshade that just opens and closes because the roof itself does not open. Up top, we've got the visor here. Light turns on with the mirror. Visor can come out, it cannot extend. And yeah, this just looks awesome. I'm just actually gonna start the car for one second. So you can see how awesome that looks. We've got the head up display going over there as well. And I also just wanted to go like this. So if I put it into M mode, sport, so we got that whole animation happening. All the M stuff starts coming around here, which just looks awesome. And, oh, there's even a button right here for traction. So this little layout here is pretty awesome. Uh, we've got M hybrid mode, we've got M mode. So that is all really cool. Let me just shut off the ignition before anybody realizes I turned on the car in the showroom. So next thing I want to do, so down here it's really hard to see, but these are the M pedals here. But down here, there's this thing for two pulls for the hood release. Let's go take a look. 
So when we arrive to the front of the car, there's nothing here for us to find. You simply just lift this up. So, there it is, the beautiful S68 uh, 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo with hybrid. So we are pumping 717 horsepower, 738 foot-pounds of torque. That is an absolute ridiculous figure. And uh, I don't know where we're gonna test this, but I'm just gonna take their word for it. Uh, you can push this up to 305 kilometers an hour apparently. So we don't have the Autobahn here, but in Germany, you guys can let me know. We've got a uh, positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal, washer fluid over here. Don't put Rain-X in the car. Look at that engine bay. The amount of power that this thing outputs is just ridiculous. And just the underside of the hood there, nothing really important to, to point out. So hood about halfway, literally just send her down. And you'll know it's closed because the whole hood will be aligned. Man, this thing just looks awesome. And you know what? Maybe when it's a bit darker, we might be able to see that uh, welcome light carpet. But man, look at how this looks in our new M showroom. BMW Durham currently has the newest showroom in all the BMW stores in Canada. And we're in the middle of a private uh, invitational uh, sales event. So I urge you to come down, check out our M showroom, check out our new renovated showroom, and have a look at the new M5 here. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2025 BMW M5 in carbon black metallic with the black interior. This is our first one. Uh, we do have another one. I'm gonna try and shoot that one as soon as I can when it's ready, but uh, definitely wanted to share this one with you. What do you think of the new 2025 G90 M5? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll put the pricing information in the description below. This M5 is available right now, so contact me if you're interested. Um, please follow me on Instagram. It's at Durham. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.